Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. It also contains a section on Google Sites, which is Google's uh, free tool for creating a very simple website. And today I'm going to be talking about how to customize your Google Site. And let's take a look at the site right now. So here is a sample Google Sites I created. I did this in another video and you can see how I made it. And the question I have here that I want to deal with is how to customize it. So let's say that maybe I don't like the uh, appearance of the colors here, or I want the font to change, or I want to do something else to make it look a little bit different than it is right now. And um, this is this, here, here's the bottom line for making changes to customize your Google Sites. Google only allows you to change certain things on your site. And I think what they're trying to avoid is a situation where maybe 10 years ago, if you're old enough, you'll remember MySpace. You could basically do anything you wanted to a MySpace page or some of the other tools that they had out there. And it basically looked like a mess. So Google wants to kind of keep you in its little sandbox and only do certain things to modify your Google Sites. This is the, uh, the owner view for this particular web page. And uh, I'm just going to make some simple changes to show you how to, to change basic things about the appearance. You can't do a lot, but it might be enough for you. Now, the first place to start if you want to change the appearance of your, uh, of your Google site is to change the, uh, the header. So right now, the banner that you'll see on every single page, it has this kind of this blue background, and then there's text here. If you hover over the blue background in the owner view or the editor view, it'll give you the option to change the image. You can either upload your own image, maybe you have some background or some special text that you've created, or you can select image. There's a nice gallery available of just kind of cool looking background images. You can select one and then hit select. That looks pretty cool. Or you could change it to something else. A lot of people, they, they like to, maybe they have a banner or a graphic from another source, they can upload that too. So that's another possibility. So I'm going to look something that looks vaguely school-like. This looks kind of school-like. Select it. Okay. Looks great. And then to make that appear on all of the, on the website available to the public, I'd click the publish icon. Then you can copy the link. and look at it in another browser, or you can just preview. Click the eyeball icon. So this is what it looks like. You can see the new banner there. Let's say I wanted to make some other changes. Now, header type, it can be a couple different things. One is you can get rid of the banner and just make it title only. So publish that. and preview it. Click the eyeball icon. It looks a little plain though, so I actually want to go back to having the banner. So again, click on header type. Select banner or large banner. Cover could be an image that you, it's basically just covering most of the page, but I want to use a banner. Okay. And I'm going to save that. Now, another thing you can do to really change the appearance of the whole website, besides changing the banner, is to change the theme. And to do that, go to the right page, this little kind of uh, menu of options that you have to insert stuff. You can see the Insert tab is selected. Select the Themes tab. Google currently offers maybe a half dozen different themes you can use. So Simple, Johnson Middle School. So you can see it kind of used a different font and made it a little bit bigger. You can change the color too. Um, this won't do anything because I'm using an image on the front. But if I wanted to change the color, select image. Instead of using an image, I could use one of these colors. Actually, these are just basic designs. Well, let's just take this purple co color. I'll use that. It's actually a background. Uh, so changing this won't really affect anything because I'm using a background image. Um, but then there's font style. So let's say I want to change the font away from this kind of this uh, uh, Art Deco style font to something heavy. So that will make it really thick and chunky. I can do that. So I hit publish. And that would change that. Or I could switch to a new theme altogether, Aristotle. This has some different fonts too. 
you notice that it doesn't actually show you what the name of the font is. It just calls it classic. And let's see what it looks like. Let's see what our handiwork looks like. So here's the old design. I'm just going to reload that. And you can see it's actually, uh, I don't know. So you can see that the font changed, but it didn't change the background for some reason. You might need to open that in a new, in a new tab. Yeah, let's do that right now. That's still not changing. Okay. But anyways, you get the idea. That's how to make basic changes to the appearance. Unfortunately, you can't change anything else. Like this font style here that is used for the text, if you select it and then you select this little drop-down menu, it basically just gives you options to change the uh, kind of like the, the style for the text not the actual font itself. So I can change this to subheading. So you can see it makes it a little bit thicker, changes the color slightly. But I can't like change this to Arial or to Times New Roman or to Courier or whatever. It, Google doesn't let you do that. It can be kind of frustrating. And basically the only way to get around that limitation is if you, if you, get, ri you get rid of these uh, banners that Google supplies and then you upload your own image and you, on the image you create your own font that way. But that's a lot of work for some people. So unfortunately, you may be stuck with the, uh, the defaults, themes, and banners, and uh, font styles that Google offers in Google Sites. To learn how to get started with Google Sites, I have a short section in Google Drive and Docs in 30 minutes. It's not that deep, but it will get you started at least. And of course, I've posted some other videos online too, uh, which you can check out. Go to in30minutes.com for more information. And thank you so much for watching.